Welcome to Google Game Dev Summit 2022. Happy to see you here. This session is Optimize Your Game with Android Tools. I hope you find the talk useful and gives you information you can use every day. Performance optimization is really a way of thinking and it's best done every day, not at the end as an afterthought. I am Phil Taylor. I work in Android Games Developer Relations and help developers with performance evaluations. I'm here to talk about Android tools for optimizing your game, understanding what tool, when, and how to get an end-to-end -end view of your game are the goals of this talk. Today, for our journey together, I am covering the Android Developer Relations evaluation process and tools. Five areas and tools in 25 minutes will give you a taste of what you can accomplish with Android tools and set you up for exploring on your own. Setting up for analysis is as important as the analysis, so I'll spend a bit of time on setup. With the setup in hand, I will describe each of the areas I will focus on, guidance for each area, and how to perform an initial probe and then how to drill in for a deep dive. Then we'll examine the results and discuss where to go and close with next steps. I'm assuming a PC and Windows, but the tools and process are equally valid on a Mac. You can get the tools that I'll be using through the Android Game Development Kit, such as AGI, and through the tools built into Android Studio or the Android Game Development Extension. For the purpose of this talk, I will use AGK Tunnel as the game to use the tools on. To build AGK Tunnel, you'll need Python installed. If you have path issues, Using GitHub to clone the repository may be a better path than using the zip download. And we'll make use of a Play Dev account and the Play Console as well. This presentation, as per the previous slide, relies on Android Studio and the HDK. In particular, we'll be focusing on performance optimization tools to improve your game, both pre and post launch, such as with Android GPU Inspector. What tools to use when is one key question. But before we get to that, let's talk about the workflow and process a bit. Performance optimization is a way of life for a game programmer. It's important to start with a performance budget and continually measure your progress. That way you can catch performance regressions early when you make them, not much later. Having a performance baseline and a relatively lightweight process to examine your performance regularly can make performance optimization less of a heroic effort at the end and more of a regular activity. With that in mind, here I advocate an initial probe to compare against the general guidance for an area and a deep dive if the area is not meeting the general guidance. For this talk, let's consider five areas for overall game performance. Loading times, package size, memory use, CPU use, and GPU use. These areas can help get an end-to-end -end view for graphics performance across loading, memory, and CPU, GPU workloads. Next, we will examine each area using the initial probe, then deep dive process. We begin with startup and start time versus load time. For background, see developer.android.com on app startup time. Here we're looking at time to initial display, TTID, versus time to fully drawn, TTFD, basically visible versus interactable. For startup time, TTID, use LogCat and search for displayed. Load time, TTFD, can be more complex. You can instrument a report fully drawn to measure, or finally, Android Performance Tuner can help you measure real-world performance with results visible in the Play Console. Using ADB, get the log and find the displayed line. It's good enough as initial probe, time to initial display. In this case, the start time is below one second. But let's take a look at the APT details in a test track for this app, just to perform the deep dive step to get used to the process. In this case, even though the start time is below one second, it's useful to use your Play Dev account and check details. If you've integrated Android Performance Tuner, then APT loading and frame time show up in the console. For this example, an internal test track was created and a few instances installed to get viewable results. And we can see the load times for each device and if users are dropping off. Note the interesting device with 1.94k milliseconds to start. Play cons is your friend to understand cases like that. Understanding and using vitals can make a difference in your app performance. Perhaps this device should be excluded, for instance. Let's look at package size. The quickest check is the seed of the size of your as-built game in File Explorer Finder, the release build. 
game sizes over 150 meg need to be addressed before publication. Either you can reduce the size of your assets or split out your assets. Play asset delivery is one great way to do just that. If your install time is an issue, use pad to split out just those resources that need to be downloaded at the start. Now let's drill in using APK Analyzer in Android Studio. As is typical, assets are the overwhelming majority of the APK size. The other elements of your APK should be no surprise. If they are, you can drill in further here. And if that isn't enough, you can consider using other tools outside the HDK, such as Bloaty McBloatface. Bloaty is especially useful for code assets when size of those is a concern. Now click into the assets bullet to take a quick look at the assets. In this case, nothing unusual. Lots of small and odd sized textures should be combined, for instance. There are two benefits from doing so. Reduced file size overhead and reduced texture overhead. More textures is more texture handles and more set texture calls. Using texture atlases to combine small textures pays off all the way around. Let's look at memory usage. Android Game Dev Rel recommends targeting 800 meg of memory on two gig devices, for instance. More than that, and you risk LMKs when you consider system usage. If you're close to that on a two gig device, the new memory API will let you dial in. Check out Victor and Bill's talk in memory management to learn more about that. More memory, higher threshold. More memory, less percent of the total is system, so that helps the threshold be a higher percent. ADB shell dumps this mem info is an easy way to check initial thresholds. ADB is one of the primary tools for developers. It's used for a wide variety of tasks. The shell command has a lot of versatility and this is just one use. And if you're over the threshold for your budget, then a deep dive is required. Starting a profile in Android Studio gets the above view. Here we see the total allocation size. You can drill into the memory bucket to see the types of memory in more detail. Note, if you're close to the 800 meg threshold on a two gig device, the new memory API will help you dial in. CTALK GGDS ADDK, introducing the memory API and how to diagnose memory problems for more details. Now, drilling into the memory bucket, we can see the types of allocations and size, and are just checking to see if the allocations and sizes make sense. Does 35 meg of graphics memory make sense for the few assets, for instance? So here the APK analysis is reused when examining the graphics assets in memory. Now on to CPU use. Here we're using CPU profiling to determine if we're making a consistent frame rate, check thread workloads, etc. You use SysTrace to get a CPU thread view, and you use the Android Studio CPU profiler call stack recording, simple perk, to drill in on a thread with a call stack's view and get timings. If you're making frame rate, great. If not, we'll use AGI to drill in to continue the deep dive here. I also want to note the frame pacing library can help. It's available to integrate in AGK. Another thing about this sample, note having to tweak the manifest to get game mode to work with the AGK sample. Of course, this is just a sample. Your real world game will have a real world workload. Look at the CPU tracks and Surface Flinger present and see the pattern. Drilling in to see the Surface Flinger present pattern and recognizing when you're not making a consistent frame time is when it's time to drill into your graphics performance. Note this present to present fingerprint for future reference. Use the Android Studio CPU profiler, drill in, start a call stack recording. Pick a game thread of interest, then the top down tab, and you can see the call stack in that thread with timings and costs. This can help identify hotspots. Finally, GPU analysis. Some tools guidance. AGI System Profiler gives you a SysTrace like insight into your app's performance over multiple frames for CPU memory process and GPU details. AGI Frame Profiler ties GPU performance data to the render pass and even down to draw calls through its static analysis features for a single frame. Use counter settings, very useful. Age decay tunnel findings. The AGI system profile is consistent here with a SysTrace profile using the sur surface flinger pattern. It's a good cross check. Check out the AGI-specific talk, AGDK, optimize your GPU usage with Android GPU Inspector. It will spend more time in the new UI and features. One useful system profiler view is the GPU Q view, which shows for each frame the render stages for each surface render pass. This lets you see the components of your frame. 
Another is the GPU counters per capture. It can be useful to a set of predefined counters for vertex, texture, compute, etc., the elements of your frame, letting you examine them separately. And a final capture with a set of all the counters. This allows you to view specific data or all of it at once. AGI Frame Profiler ties GPU performance data to the render pass. Here, we show the frame buffer and the command view. This talk is more about workflow and putting the pieces together. There are other views in AGI to help you understand your performance hotspots. And as I said previously, check out HDK, optimize your GPU usage with Android GPU Inspector for more depth on AGI. AGI has a wide range of features, too many to go in detail in the time available. AGI is your deep dive drill in tool for GPU performance on Android. This is the performance counter detail graph view. Please go to the AGI talk, optimize your GPU usage with Android GPU Inspector for an even deeper dive on just AGI. Now, pulling it all together, with the five areas and tools concluded, what have we learned? Craft a performance budget. It's important to have a hard goal to measure against. How do you know if you're done? Just hitting 60 hertz is a poor budget goal. Measure regularly with your tools of choice. Consider these five areas and others as required by your needs. Perform the initial probe across your performance areas and deep dive where you have issues and iterate regularly. Download HDK, build great games, optimize. The key is to understand what your target frame budget is ahead of time and measure regularly. Use the tools across the areas, assess, dig in. Thank you for joining me today and learning more about optimizing your game with Android tools. I hope you enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you.